Well, I guess we got time for one more update before we start killing bears tomorrow. So I'm really optimistic, uh, really tired, uh, just bushed. I mean, uh, been going hard for three weeks and uh, we have gone through so much bait this year. I'm sure Bill would echo my sentiments that uh, we're pretty wore out and we are definitely ready for the next phase to start and that is when we start taking hunters. Some of the hunters are coming in tonight and the rest are coming in tomorrow. I asked them all to be here by noon tomorrow so we can have an orientation and then uh, we'll uh, have a big meal before we take them out to the stand tomorrow afternoon. Um, so here's some things that have changed since the last video. The activity has picked up quite a bit. Um, we actually had a couple more stands put out. Uh, Bill and I went out and put two more ladder stands because we had a couple of baits that really took off. And I gotta tell you, it's been a really strange year. Uh, man, it, I, I just don't know what's going on with the natural foods. Uh, I know a lot of people are struggling. I've, you know, I'm hearing from people who are saying they haven't had bears on their baits for eight days and things like that. And you know, I had baits that were pretty slow that just really busted off in the last few days here. In fact, I had one that was really, really just basically nothing going on. And then all of a sudden, um, and I hadn't checked it for six days because I had decided it wasn't one of the top ten. We didn't put a stand in there, but then after uh, six days, you know, I figured I better run in there and just see. And the thing was just completely blown up, and the trail camera picture showed that there's seven different bears on it, including two really nice ones. And uh, it was a bait that I just could not understand why it hadn't been doing well at all, and then all of a sudden it just took off. Uh, I, sometimes it's hard to explain. I'm still learning this, that's for sure. Um, we also had a, another bait that I had given up on um, that I really liked the spot but it just had one small bear on it that was there pretty much kind of pretty much living there all the time and then um, it got another nice mature uh, shooter bear that uh, moved in and, and uh, is there pretty regular so we went ahead and put a stand on that we're gonna put somebody in there tomorrow night so anyway that's the story and I'm sticking to it and uh, we're gonna start killing bears and I mean we've just gone through so much bait it's kind of amazing to me I think I've gone through 21 barrels of trail mix I went and got three more and they're gone too and uh, we've got some of the baits uh, we're filling the 30 gallon drum every single day and it's just gone when we come back the next day and if I'd have known it was going to go like this in the last few days before the season started I would have put a second barrel out there but um, it just really has accelerated here in the last three four days. It's supposed to be hot this weekend I hope we can get all the bears out that get shot in, in a quick manner and uh, keep the meat good and everything like that because it's supposed to be uh, the second day of the season supposed to be close to 90 and then uh, third day of the season Sunday is supposed to be 90 so uh, we're gonna be busy me and Bill and Jake are gonna be busy getting bears out of the woods and then uh, Adam uh, my Skinner he's gonna be working on them through the night and make sure every, all the meat gets in the freezer uh, we really don't want to have to leave a bear overnight so I hope everybody makes good shots and this is the best part coming up. So thanks for hanging with me and through all these vlogs. And uh, on the next one, there's going to be some dead bears. So I really appreciate uh, your following along.